Welcome to our series of webinars and tutorials on the Zaltus product line. In this video, I'm going to be talking about our mobile Zach application for iOS and Android devices. You can download the mobile application for your device on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. When you log into mobile Zach for the very first time, you may be prompted to set up your multi-factor authentication for your account. If you're a member of a call group, you will get an option to log into the group immediately. With Zoltus, agents of call group can answer calls on their mobile device, the same as on a desk phone or a UC client. I will show you how call groups work on mobile Zach later in this video. Now that I'm in the main screen of the application, at the top is my username and my presence, this green circle that says available. My presence is visible to my coworkers on the system and I can tap on it to change the presence. For example, I may be busy in a meeting at lunch and you can also add a note here to give coworkers more context for what you're doing. If I tap on my name here, I can see my info and I can edit it from this screen too. This information will be shown to my coworkers if they look at my info screen. By the way, if you need to log out of the application, you can do it from the presence and role selection screen by tapping here. Let's go over these roles over here. You can log in and out of the group when you first log into mobile Zach or by tapping in the presence in the role selection screen. As an agent of a call group, you have your agent presence. You can toggle it here. Available, which means that you can get phone calls for this group or not available. There's also wrap up, which means I just got off the group call and may need to document something related to this call before I get the next one. This is where you can set your active role. What does an active role mean? If I select my user role, Lisa Adams, as my active role and make a phone call to my coworker, they will see that Lisa is calling them. On the other hand, if my active role is set to operator and I make an outbound call, the coworker will see the operators group in the caller ID. The same applies to calls outside of your organization if the operator group has a different caller number configured. When you get a call as an agent of a call group, the call will be clearly marked as such. If your company has enabled our call attached data feature, or CAT for short, you would get prompted to add notes to your call. If you then have to transfer this call to another teammate, the notes you take here will be visible to them. CAT is available in both our desktop Zap application and mobile Zap, so the same notes will be visible across devices. You can select different screens of mobile Zap from the bottom of the application. The first screen of the application is Recent, where you can see your recent calls and messages. In the top right of the screen is the button for your call log. In this screen, you can swipe left on a recent entry and you can see Call and More options. Tapping More here will allow you to quickly access some useful features. Next up is Contacts. This is where you can see a list of all the users on the Zalta system or the list of all the contacts stored in your mobile device. You can toggle between the two here. If you make a call to a contact on your phone from mobile Zach, they will see the company caller ID instead of your device's phone number. You might have noticed that on the bottom right here, there are two green buttons that appeared both on this screen and in recent. Tapping on this top one will start a new message and the bottom one will start a new call. You can contact your coworkers by dialing their extensions or contact an external contact by dialing their phone number. In the new message screen, you can send messages to internal coworkers, or if your company utilizes SMS feature, you can also send text messages to mobile numbers from the same new message interface. When I move on to the next screen of the application, Buddies, the options on the bottom right will change. This is where you can save the contacts you interact with regularly. Next is the group screen, where you can chat with multiple people at the same time. I will go over both these screens in more details later in the video. If I select this more icon on the bottom right, I will be able to navigate to other screens. Conference screen is where you can see your scheduled conference calls. I will come back to show you how conferencing works in mobile Zach later in this video. Then we have park where you can see if any calls are currently parked on the system and pick them up from the park server. Next up is the voicemail screen where you can see your voicemails and recording. If you are a member of a call group, be over here you can toggle between messages for your user account and for any call groups that you are part of. If you select edit in the top right corner, you can set your voicemail greetings or you can choose this select voicemail option if you need to make changes to multiple voicemails at the same time. For example, if you want to set them to read or unread or delete them. The next screen of the application, Agent Roles, is only available when you are logged into at least one call group. 
you can see all the members of your group and you can toggle to expand it or minimize it. This is where you can check if your fellow agents are online and who is available to take a call. And lastly, there's the settings screen where you can access some useful settings for this application. Let's go back to the buddy list. This is where you can add coworkers and other contacts who you regularly interact with. You can also group these contacts into buddy groups. I can swipe left on a contact to see more options. I can remove them from buddies or look into their info. In this info pop-up, you add or move this buddy to a group or tap on info to see their information. If I want to add someone to my buddy list, I start by going to the contact screen. Here I can type their name and select the star here to add them as a buddy. To make it easier to manage all your buddies, you can organize them into groups. For example, Anne and Dee are both in accounting department. I tap on this plus icon here, give my buddy group a name, and then choose which of my buddies I want to add to it. I tap on create in the top right and this new group now appears here. Let's say I need to get in touch with Tessa. I tap on her name and open a log of our recent activities, phone calls, and chat messages. I can send her a message here and even include emojis. If I select this plus icon here on the left, I can send a photo or file from my mobile device. If my company is using SMS and Tessa has a mobile number configured in her profile, click here to choose to send an SMS message to this mobile number instead of an instant message through the Zelta system. By the way, Zeltus now supports MMS messaging from our mobile application, so you can send photos, videos, and other files to contacts via SMS messages. You can switch back to sending an IM message through the system by clicking on the plus again. I can tap Tessa's name up top to see her info. Down here is a button for the repository of all the files and images Tessa and I exchanged. And here is the call history between the two of us. If I go back to our chat and call log by clicking the X here, I can start a call to Tessa or a video call with these two buttons at the top right. I will be taken to the call screen, but I can always navigate back to other screens of the application by selecting this back button in top left. I can go back to the call screen again at any time by tapping on the very top of the screen here. When I'm on the call screen, I have different options available at the bottom here, and if I swipe up, I will see even more. I can put the call on hold, for example, switch audio to speaker, mute myself, and more. I can transfer this call to either a coworker or a contact in my phone's directory. I can also send Tessa a chat message while we're on the call if needed. If you have on-demand call recording feature, tap here to record the call. On the other hand, if I had automatic call recording set up, I would have an option to pause the recording. I can have multiple active calls at the same time. For example, a coworker can call me right now while I'm on the call, but also I can make a second outbound call myself while on a call. I tap on this plus here and type the name and select a call. Zach will automatically put Tessa's call on hold. I can toggle between two calls. If I tap here, I can create a conference with myself, Tessa, and John. Let's take a look at how I can communicate and collaborate with multiple coworkers at the same time from Mobile Zach. I'm on a conference call I created with Tessa, John, and myself. I can add a video to this conference call, by the way, and send chat messages to all the members of the conference at the same time. If I tap here, I can see all the participants of my conference and mute or disconnect them from here. And I can invite more contacts to the conference, both internal and external to my organization. I will talk about that in more detail later. If you have several coworkers you collaborate with regularly, you can add all of them into a group to keep the conversation together. In the group screen, I can tap on the plus here to see a list of public groups I can join or create my own group. If you want to join an existing private group, you'll need to be invited. I'm going to create a new group. I'll call it marketing team. I'll select Tessa and John from our list of employees. If I type a message here, both Tessa and John will get a notification. I can also share files in the same way I did with individual coworkers. And this way, whenever we interact, all the conversations are logged in here. What else can I do in a group? Hold conference calls with all the group members. Tap here to start an audio conference and all the group members can join the conference or leave whenever they like. Or if you have an emergency and need to reach everyone at once, you can select this option here to ring all the group members right now. 
If I tap here to start the conference, I will have an option to preview my settings before I join. Here's where I can turn the video on and off and I can even mute myself from here. I can invite people outside my company to collaborate with me and my teammates using the same interface that I use for internal communication to keep all communication in the same place. You can invite guests into one-on-one -on -one chat or you can have them join a group chat. The capabilities are the same and the invitation process is very similar. I'll start with a one-on-one -on -one chat invite. Tap on your name in the top of the screen to access the presence and role selection screen. Then select this invite to chat by link button. Select how long this link will be active for. And here is where I set a password that my guest is going to type to join it. Then I can click to copy the link and I can now paste it into an email or a text message. The person I invited can open this link in a browser to join me in a guest interface. My guest is going to click on the link, provide name and password, and she's in the chat with me. Guests can use their device speaker and mic to make calls via the built-in soft phone. We can exchange files and get on a video or audio call. To invite an external guest to collaborate with a group, I can go to my existing group, tap on the name at the top, and select the same invite to chat by link button. From this point on, the process is exactly the same for the, my guest. The guest becomes a temporary member of our group and can send files or join our group's call. All the files that this user sends us will be shared with the rest of the group and can be used for reference later. Zaltus allows users to create and join conferences directly from the mobile app, so you can join that important phone call regardless of whether you are at your desk or on the go and using the mobile phone. Navigate to the conference screen. From here, click on the plus icon in the bottom right to either schedule a conference or start one ad hoc. Or join a conference in progress. For example, if my teammates are on a conference call, then send me the ID of the conference to join. Click on the plus and select Start Now if you want to start a conference immediately. Give the conference a name if necessary. Add a password for this conference to ensure that external participants need to enter this password to get into the call. And here is where I can add any internal participants to this conference. When done, I click on Start Now in top right. I can invite external participants by selecting this invite option and creating a link that I can then send to them via email or SMS messages. All the cool collaboration features that I've been talking about in this video are available on this conference. Once I'm finished with a call, I will be prompted on whether I want to keep the record of this conference after I'm done. If I had shared files and want to keep them for reference later, I would select keep here. And finally, let's talk about scheduling a conference. The process is almost exactly the same as with the ad hoc conference, but this time after I give my conference a name, I need to select a time and date for it. The time here is based on the time zone that your phone system is in. So if you're working remotely from a different time zone, you may need to adjust your time as necessary. Then I select whether this will be a one-time conference, recurring one that will repeat every day, week, month, and so on, or if it's going to be an ongoing conference. Ongoing conference type creates a conference room with a unique persistent conference ID that can be started anytime. This type of conference is good for regular meetings involving the same set of attendees scheduled at different times. For example, if members frequently travel and need to hold this meeting on different days of the week, depending on the week. Now that I've scheduled my conference, I can start it by tapping this button here and get started chatting with my teammates and clients. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.